Welcome to my series of All About, where I attempt to deliver as much useful information about a subject relating in some way to the hobbies of animal care and terrarium building in under 5 minutes. And this one is all about millipedes. Millipedes do have more legs than any other animal on the planet, but until recently, none of them had a thousand legs as the name would suggest. In 2021, a species was finally recorded, and the world had its very own true millipede. The Eumilipus persepone. And where else would you expect to find a creature with a thousand legs? Australia, of course. Persephone is a reasonably sized millipede at 95mm in length, and so far scientists have found them with up to 1,306 legs, so it really is a true millipede. Like most millipedes, Persephone lives underground. This one just likes to go deeper than the others. A couple of years ago, say around 428 million years ago, millipedes were one of the first oxygen-breathing animals to exist on land, and some species could attain a length of over 2 meters, which frankly would be terrifying. The oldest one ever discovered was Scottish, so maybe not that terrifying then. Not to worry though, of the 12,000 millipede species, most are herbivores, but some species are omnivores and enjoy the odd dead insect or rotting corpse when they're available. Millipedes are also myriapods, and lumped in the group with them are their close cousins, the centipedes, which I am considering a future video of. Why don't you subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss that one? Out of those 12,000 species, quite a few are kept as pets. The larger ones being preferred, of course. The giant African millipede is the largest of these and can grow to a whopping 35 centimeters in length, but many others are also kept. To some people, millipedes may look a little creepy, but they are harmless, being neither poisonous or venomous, and pose no threat to humans or other fauna. They do have one special ability that you may wish to take note of, though they taste disgusting. When threatened or handled badly, millipedes will often secrete a substance. It often appears like a yellow stain on human skin that can cause mild irritation, and you should always wash your hands before and after handling millipedes, or all animal and humans for that matter. If you do want to keep millipedes as pets, you will find their demands to be extremely low. Just be aware that most of them are nocturnal and subterranean, and make the best pets for miners and tunnel diggers. To keep most millipedes, you're going to need an enclosure and you're going to need a substrate layer that's at least as deep as the millipede is long, but preferably deeper. I do show you a pretty good millipede mix for substrate in one of my previous videos. Which one? Eludes me right now. You'd have to look through them all. I'm not a fan of keeping animals in plastic storage boxes, but many do, and this might be the way to go for you as well. The setup for most species is pretty much the same as it is for isopods, and millipedes appear to be happy in this environment. Some species, such as the Arnatus of southern USA, like it a little drier, or at least in its natural surroundings it would do, and you should always try to keep your animals in an environment that reflects their natural habitat if you want them to stay healthy and happy. As I mentioned earlier, millipedes eat a variety of foods, Leaf litter and a fair amount of calcium is always a good base, but they will also eat numerous vegetables with the exclusion of the Allium genus. Basically, if it has an onion smell, don't bother putting it in their enclosure. They're not keen, and it stinks. If you have chosen one of the larger species of millipede, then a feeding bowl and even a very shallow water bowl might be required. A feeding station is always a good idea, because it makes life easier when removing leftover food that could mould. As millipedes like to hide, then it is also good practice to provide them with bark or wood such as oak, maple or older logs and branches. They may also consume this as it rots. You can keep several different species of millipede in the same enclosure, but please, remember if you want them to breed, then your best option is to keep only the same species. Other animals may stress them and prevent them from getting it on. It is okay to keep isopods with millipedes, but be careful you choose wisely. Some isopods are very protein hungry and would think nothing of chewing up your pet as it molts, 
or even eat the eggs or baby millipedes as they don't come complete with legs. Each time the baby molts, more legs are added and their arsenal and their size increases. Even though millipedes taste revolting, some animals, like humans, have no taste and will eat pretty much anything, and some of these may possibly find their way into your enclosure. Spiders, ground beetle and ants are the most likely to be able to enter, during maintenance or even by accident when adding decoration to your enclosure. Unlike most arthropods, millipedes are quite easy to sex, but you have to turn them over to do this. The male has replaced its seven segment legs with a penis, which in most species looks like they have a missing set of legs. Some species are even easier, as they have a saddle on their back at the seventh. It looks wider than all the other segments, and this would make it a male. There are many beautiful species of millipede out there, and many of the smaller ones are also at home in a terrarium. Unlike isopods, they're more likely to avoid munching on your living plant life, providing they have something else to eat, like wood or leaf litter. And I find the smaller British millipedes great for keeping my miniature gardens tidy. I like to think of them as I do isopods, mini gardeners rather than pets, but always pleasing to see them milling around in your enclosures. There are plenty of species dependent videos here on YouTube, and if you do plan on having a millipede or two as a pet, then I would suggest you do some research. There will be some links in the description down below of some videos that I particularly like. That's all I have to say about millipedes for this video. Thanks for watching.